So this is mind-blowing. A seventh grader spent her summer building a presidential family tree, and she discovered that every single United States president, with the exception of one, were all related. And all of them, every single one of them, are descendants of one single person, the former king of England, John Lackland, who signed the Magna Carta in 1215. Nobody had put this together before because most genealogists only focused on the male side of the family. But she was went ahead and put together the male and female lineage of every single president and discovered that every one of them are related, except for Martin Van Buren. This is something that definitely makes you look at the big picture a little bit differently. Check this out. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, William Howard Taft, and President Barack Obama. One young girl traced them all back to one common ancestor. They're all cousins and all grandsons of John Lackland. It's the first family tree of its kind, pouring through more than half a million names for months. 12-year-old Bridge Ann D'Avignon discovered that all the U.S. presidents, except Martin Van Buren, are related to the former king of England, John Lackland Plantagenet. Bill Trent Reed is his first great-grandmother on George Washington. Obama, Mildred Reed, is the 10th great-grandmother. She started with George Washington, but unlike other professional genealogists that only looked at the male family lines, Bridge Ann was able to link the presidents together using both male and female ancestry. Before this, historians had only been able to link 22 family trees. 